Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Baba Is You. Uh, it's just a little while after I recorded the previous episode, because I wanted to just get back into this and try my other idea, which was to move guys through the sun up here and then have them get down there somehow. So let's imagine that I had a pushable rocket who was going to make some robots and great things were going to happen. So let's see. How would I want this to work? I would need the robots to somehow be moving up and down. I can nudge them to the left without reorienting them. Can I get the rocket somehow all the way to the right? I need things to be moved, uh, to be facing up and down though. And, but I could push. Yeah, so I could push them all. So what if... Okay, here's an idea. What if the rocket's making robots and the robots are push? Uh, but then I would be pushing the robots to the right and then they'd start facing right. Right. So here was the idea that I had. That's not going to quite work. Which is rocket make robot, robot is push. And then me just push a bunch of... Oh, and also I can't write. I forgot about the fact that the rocket and the robot are defeat. <laughs> um, I could overcome that just by using a... I also haven't used bird is. That's also a possibility. Hmm. Also a possibility. Could use a piece of text in order to like push this through. But yeah, that reface the robot right. I'm not sure how I'd get the robot facing up and down. I can nudge him to the left, but I can't nudge him to the right. But I could have him fall to the right. Right, okay, so that's the other thing. Actually, no, I don't want to restart. Okay, so I made a robot. Uh, the robot doesn't need to be pushed right now. What I want him to be is fall. And so, sure. Let's just put this against the edge. We're just trying stuff out. Oops. And so we're going to say robot is fall. Oh, but I want the robot to be pushed too because I want him to fall because now they're all falling into the same spot. Can I have it be push and fall at the same time? It doesn't seem like I can. Uh, but I could just nudge him to the left. But in order to say robot is nudge left, I also need it not to be fall anymore. All right, but it seems like there's a tedious way to make this work. Okay, so let's just experiment here for a minute. So if I said, Robot is nudge left. Some number of squares. I'm not sure how many. Not that many, actually. <laughs> um, sure, that many. And then I said robot is move. Then the robot would go sink himself. Oops. Other robot, you're in the way. Um, it's fine. Then he'd go sink himself in the dust, right? Yes. And so it seems like I could just do that over and over and over again and nudge him into all the different positions. Um, oh, the problem is... I'd rocket make robot wall robot as well. Okay, I think this would work. So, rocket is push. Get my rocket over into position, which would be, I mean, honestly, like anywhere over here will be fine. That's actually a pretty good spot. 
then I want to say rocket make a robot to make a robot. And let's do it in a place where I can get all the things. Okay, so I've made a robot. Now I want to say robot is fall. It's okay to permanently trap one of the is's down here. So now the robot fell down there. And so now I want to have robot is move. So let's go ahead and get is move just kind of permanently move down here somewhere useful. Like here. So that robot will go break the bottom piece of dust. Then I need to say rocket mix robot again. Then I need to say this robot is going to be nudge. Uh, not move, sorry. Sure. And I'm going to nudge him. No, I needed him to be fall first. Hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself. Uh, I put move in a bad spot here. Okay. Robot is fall, so he fell to the right. Now I'm going to nudge him one spot to the left. Uh, one spot to the left. Just like that. Rocket Mick, could you be a little bit higher up, please? Thank you. And then I want to say robot is move. And then I can just do that repeatedly and get rid of all that, and then the bird could just walk over to go win. Once again, this feels inelegant, uh, making me think that I have done something wrong or there's a better way to do this, but it is a solution. And is a solution is a pretty, pretty good outcome to me. So I think I'm going to take it. Um, I keep keep getting my words a little bit too close to one another. We'll try that. Okay, so, robot is fall, robot is nudge left, this time it's gonna nudge left twice. Not sure how my rocket make ended up over here. <laughs> too close to things again, it's because I keep nudging all of my words up. So we'll put it way up there. Uh, robot is move, get rid of this guy, and then make another robot and repeat. Okay, um, I'm going to make a bunch of robots and do this, and <laughs> go ahead and solve this puzzle. Alright, this has been tedious, but I think it works. Once again, this would be one that I would be interested in knowing the more elegant solution to. Uh, so if people know a better way to do this... I would be curious, but I found a solution that worked for me, so far as I can tell. So now the bird is going to walk down Sun Boulevard and get to the UFO and win. Hooray! Congratulations to me! Okay, now there is Milky Way. So I wonder if I found an alternative solution that will also work here. It seems unlikely. Uh, okay, so, first you... The word make is now in a somewhat irretrievable position, and also UFO is a win is not pushed together yet. And also, okay, this is quite different. Uh, also, there's some structure down here that wasn't here before. There's no fall, oh, the fall right is over here now. Push is still here, move is still here. The make is the thing that wasn't here, because now it's over here. And there's no nudge left. Oh, you've taken away my nudge. Rocket is rocket, robot is robot. They're no longer defeat. I've got two rockets. Okay, there's actually significant differences to this puzzle. So, having seen all of those differences... Falling to the right won't reorient the rocket, so it could be facing upwards, for example, fall to the right over here, then move, but then what? Uh, 
be push, have the other one push the word make over against it, which would push it to the right, and then it would be able to bring the word make back, and then I could solve the rest of the puzzle. I think that might be it. So, in case you didn't follow that, that was... Rocket is push. Push one... Oh, come on. Push one of the rockets here, say. Um, then go ahead and make the rocket fall. Oh, except I need to push the other rockets against make. Is that true? Yeah, I think I want it here. Yeah, and the moving will be fine. Okay, so that's rocket is push. Um, rocket doesn't need to be pushed right at the moment. Then we have rocket is fall. The rockets fall to there. Then I'm going to say rocket is move for one turn. Uh, it'll be oops, easier to say for one turn from over here. There we go. Oh, except I want the one rocket to move and the other rocket not to. Or I want them to collide at that moment. And so that's going to be the difficult bit. But if it had currently been like rocket make and the rocket moving up there. Okay, so... I, I'm sure there's a way to make the timing work out here. Is there any easier way to do it? But the idea is the other rocket would have gotten pushed over to the right where the make is currently sitting. And then it would bounce, make back to the left. What is happening here? Oh, rockets still fall to the right. Got it. Um, that also is undoable. Okay. So if I wanted to get that timing to happen, I would just need that guy to move up there first. Yeah, it seems plausible. Okay. Um, so, I just feel like it'll be easier to do this again from the start. So, if we have this guy pushing make all the way over, and then I just want to make sure that this rocket is going to be uh, retrievable somewhere while it's moving back and forth, and so this is a relatively harmless place for the rocket to be moving back and forth. Okay. I want you to stop. I need to move the rocket one more square. So I guess here? No, one before that. Here. That seems good to me. So now the plan is to make the rockets push again. Push you up here. Say rocket is fall. Oops, rocket is fall. Great. Then I want to say rocket is moved for two turns. Mm, is that right? That might be right. Say rocket is moved for two turns, I think. So one, two. Uh, he moved out of the way first, so the lower one needed to be... Uh, so the upper one needed to move one more step to the right. Okay, that's fine. So let's do have the upper one move one more step to the right, which is right here. So I guess I want it to be there. I think that's what I decided. Okay, so I want rocket is push. Push this guy here. I want rocket is fall. Have him fall over there. And then I want to say rocket has moved this time for one tick. Oh, they got pushed onto the same spot. Is that okay? It's not. Oh, rocket was not push. I need rocket to be move and push and also not fall. Great. And I wonder if I had him in the right orientation before and I forgot to say rocket is push. Let's find out. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, so, uh, nope, I don't want to do that. I just want to back up to where I did things wrong and this time do things right. Three, two, one. 
Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Here. Okay, so I want to turn you off of there. Then I want Rocket to be push. Uh, don't put move there. That's a bad spot for move to be. I want Rocket to be push. Then I want Rocket is push to continue to be true. Uh, I need to have Rocket be fall for one turn. That's fine. And then I want Rockets to be move. And now I think I will push them into the correct locations, maybe. And I don't want them to be fall afterwards. Let's do this. There we go. Here comes my word make. And now I just need to stop the rockets once they bring me the word make. Okay. Uh, rocket is not defeat anymore, which means I can walk through the rockets to grab this word. And now I will be able to make robots and basically do the same thing that I did before. I think now I can basically make robots and do the same thing that I did before. Which is to... Uh, does it matter if there's extra robots over there? I don't think it does. So yeah, this should be fine. So I can say rocket make robot. And I can probably do things more efficiently now that I can move the fall word around perhaps. But if Rocket makes a robot, there's a robot over there. He's already facing downwards, which is where I want him to be. So then I want robot is fall. So the robot fell down there. And then I'm going to want robot is move for some number of turns. Uh, I accidentally said rocket is move, and I don't want that. So let's make that not happen. So one of the robots is bouncing around like a dummy. Oh, uh, what's win? UFO is win. I, okay, right. I'm trying to solve the same puzzle as before and that's not the correct thing to do. I need to... What do I need to do? Something could make a UFO. Yeah, I was still trying to just break through all the dust and get to the right, but that's not what I need to do. So let's stand back for just a moment. It's probably still solvable from here. I have a lot of useful pieces. If I pushed over, for example, the text robot make UFO. The issue is I would need a robot over here next to me while I do that. And that's totally doable. Yeah, that's totally doable. I could just push the robot right now. And then the rocket could make the text that says robot make UFO? Yeah, I think so. So, robot is push. Robot, um, you come live right there. Actually, right there. Fantastic. Good spot for you. Then, I would like the rocket to move a bit. Because I need to get the word make in front of it. Uh, but not that many turns, so hold on. Uh, doop 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 doop. -do. Get some words out of the way. Okay. And then also, this other rocket is gonna get in the way unless I get him. Hey, rocket, why don't you go live a happy life down here? I could retrieve you if I need to, but I don't think I need to. Okay. Uh, then I want to get the word make. Uh, I needed one other word. The rocket has moved too far. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll just let him take an entire trip around and then stop him right, oops, stop him right here. Great. And so now I want it to be robot make UFO. Got it. So, make. Oops. Uh, that would have been fine. Robot make UFO. Rocket is move. Robot make UFO. UFO is win. Congratulations, I've done it.
That felt too easy. I still feel uneasy about both of those puzzles. Like, I feel like maybe the intended solution was something different, but I'm happy with my solution. So uh, let's move on to Skygate. Not to be confused with Watergate. Okay, I'm a robot. Moon is empty. Ice is stopped. Cloud is stopped. Sun is empty. Star is empty. Rocket is pushed. Rocket is stopped. Facing. Move. Text. Text is text. Text is not move. Ice is almost empty. Dust is cloud. Moon, sun, star, flag is wind, sun and moon, and star is stop. Got it. So I have to get rid of these things so that I can get to the flag. Stop, stop, nudge left. Interesting. Uh, what was dust? Why is there dust here? Uh, dust could become cloud when I push this down in order to get rid of the ice. Okay, so there is the challenge. I'm going to get rid of the ice and that's going to block out my thing. So I need to somehow set up some things ready to go to eliminate all of these things that I can then activate while I'm over here. And ice is empty in order to be able to make the things pushable because otherwise ice would stop. Okay. Seems straightforward enough. So what would be the remote activation that I could do that probably will involve something is nudge left? So something is nudge left, probably a rocket. Since it's the only, the other one would be text. Text is nudge left. Yeah, either of those could potentially be a thing. There's also move, so I could like move a rocket. I only have one rocket. It seems like I need to move three things. If the rocket were nudged left, is there any chance that it could go up here, bounce off of this? Let's imagine the rocket was moving one thing to the north. Then it would go south and nudge left. It'd be sitting where the is is. Then south is nudge left, south is nudge left, south is nudge left. Uh, it would bounce off of this and go north and be nudged left and north and be nudged left and da 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 da. I think it would get trapped in here and it wouldn't have bounced off of these things. Okay, so it's not just the case that I could have a rocket that's moving up and down and also being nudged to the left and somehow have it press all three of these is's. Uh, rocket. Oh, what about rocket facing text? is nudge left. I can't form that, and that's the whole purpose of this. These could just be little bits of text that I can push, or they could be uh, text is move kind of uh, activation. Oh, yeah, text is move. Hmm. Why would that not just solve everything? Because other text might move in other directions? Let's just try this. I'm curious what happens if I were to phrase text is move after pressing three stops such that they are oriented towards moving towards the ice, such that when the text becomes awakened, actually, let's move this one up here first, into movement, that it might solve the puzzle for us. So tell me why this solution does not work. I want text is move while I am over here. Oops. So why does this not work? I don't know what direction flag is when might start moving. Text is not move. Haha. -ha. Great. <laughs> Failed to, I read it aloud, but obviously didn't internalize it. Okay, so we can't use the text movement. So rocket is the obvious thing. I can't say rocket facing text is nudge. Um, text could be nudge, but nudging text to the left doesn't seem valuable. Can I make more rockets? There's no rocket is rocket. 
However, I don't have any other object words. That's not true. I have, like, rocket as star. Sun and moon and star is stop. But I can't say star is something, right? Or sun is something or moon is something. Other than empty, eventually. Uh, and ice is empty, right? Okay. So... What if it were rocket facing text is move and rocket is nudge left and then only when it's facing text would it move? Could I then use the stops? Somehow. No, it would quit moving. I'm imagining a rocket here. I'm imagining the word stop here. The rocket's facing text, so it moves up to sun is empty. It's still facing text, so it moves back down to be facing the stop. Oh, I could, okay, then it'll be facing text. It could push the stop over here. No, it would, if it was also being nudged to the left. It would get nudged one thing to the left and then stop moving. There could be a stop here though, and it would move down and push both stop and is south. At which point it would be nudged to the left again. Yeah, that would totally work. I think I have a solution. Once again, the fact that the solution has come so easily makes me think that it's wrong. But what if it's not wrong? What if it's right? What if it's so right? Uh, would it have bounced? I think it would. So I think I'd want this here. Okay, so this will be easier to demonstrate than to describe if I probably didn't describe it well enough to understand what's going on already. So let's just set it up. So now it's going to be rocket is nudge left and rocket facing text is move. Okay, so move is going to be the bottommost word. Um, and it's going to have to go here. Uh, there's an edge and a rocket. Okay, so I need is move. I need text is move and that's not going to form anything, so it's fine. Then I need a facing. Not there. Then I need to get rocket is... N oh. Mm -hmm. This might work. So I'm going to put an is here. Carefully. And I have to form both of these at the same time. Can I do that? I cannot do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is okay. So rocket facing text is move. Rocket is nudge left. It can't be nudged left right now, so it's just going to be move, turn around, and hit stop. Uh, rats. It did not move the stop. So that stop needed to be one further down. All right, that's not too hard to do. Okay, so the stop needed to be one further down. This still might work. It's hard for me to anticipate at this point, so let's just watch. Now it's getting nudged to the left. I forgot to do the ice thing, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, so the stop needed to be there. Okay. That's fine. So we'll put the stop here. Transform the ice. Do this. It moves down one. It sees stop is, so it's going to move down one. It sees stop. Uh, stop is in the wrong spot. Which is fine. I could move that stop down too so that it was below the rocket, and then I think that'll solve it. Okay. I think we... Uh, can I move that stop down to? Of course not. 
I parked it in the spot where it's irretrievable, and now I need to undo all this. Okay, I see where the three stops are. Down and left of the rocket, just above the is, and then it needs to be kind of in the lower portion of the thingy over here. So I just need to back up to where I place that stop in the wrong spot, which unfortunately is after all of this. Which makes me sad, but what are you going to do? Of course it was the first one I placed. Okay, so it should have been here. And then the rest of them were in okay spots, so this can go here. Before I get the final spot, I think it'll be easier to move some of this text in. So we'll get our move, we'll get our is. Now that I know what I'm doing, uh, I need uh, facing. No, facing text, right. Now that I know what I'm doing, I can move this text in slightly more easily. And we'll get rocket again in a minute. Let's go ahead and push this out. Uh, so then I need the word rocket. And I need this is to be the is nudge. All right. And finally, I need to go ahead and do this, and this, and this, and then wait patiently. And there we go. Oh no, there's no more text above it. I had the word push available, and so I should have pushed the word push over there as well. That's fine, that's easy to fix. Uh, can I get the word push over there? Uh, I can't get the word push over there, but I can get the other word stop over there, and that's fine. So I need text on both sides there. Okay. Just as easy as that. There we go. Flags win. I did the thing. I'm so proud of myself. I did the thing and there's another variation. We are kind of out of time, but I'm just curious since it's just a variation to see how it's going to be different. Spaceport. There's more text now. UFO is UFO and not move. Um, there's space past sun is push and star is push, where the text might get pushed too far. There's now a robot in addition to a rocket. There's ice is empty, dust is cloud, but then there's also rocket is shift if you push things down even farther. The dust would have already been transformed into the cloud, and so it would stay cloudy. But then you'd be able to shift a rocket, and shift is my nemesis. <laughs> okay, so this seems scary and more difficult, but I solved the other puzzle pretty well, and so I have confidence that I might be able to do this, no, this one in a future episode. But for now, I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Baba Is You. For now, bye-bye.